My name is Tucker Bowe, a Gear Patrol staff writer, and we're at CS 2020, and this is the Sunto 7, the company's newest fitness-focused smartwatch. It has all the things that you'd want in a multi-sport smartwatch by Sunto. There's a built-in GPS, heart rate sensor, altimeter, and you can track up to 70 different exercises, such as swimming, skiing, surfing, running, and cycling. That said, there are things that make the Sunto 7 different from the company's other smartwatches. It's the first that runs on watchOS, which is Google's smartwatch operating system, and that's a pretty big deal. It means that you can summon Google Assistant straight from the smartwatch, and you can access Google Maps and get turn-by-turn -turn directions, which is super helpful if you're navigating in a city. On the outdoors and fitness side, the Sunto 7 has features that no other Sunto smartwatch has. First, it lets you download offline maps so it can accurately track your exercises, even when you leave your smartphone at home. It's also the first Sunto smartwatch to be able to access Sunto's built-in heat maps. These heat maps allow you to find popular running and biking routes that have been used by other people wearing Sunto smartwatches in a specific area. As far as other specs, the Sunto 7 has a two-day battery life when you're using it as a daily smartwatch. And when you're exercising and it's in a GPS tracking mode, it can get about 12 hours of battery life. The interesting thing to note is that the Sunto 7 has two different processors, one smaller and one larger which Sunto says the smartwatch can intelligently switch between the two depending on how you're using the smartwatch so that it preserves battery life. Sunto 7 will be available January 31st of this year and will MSRP for $499. The smartwatch has a diameter of 50 millimeters, weighs about 70 grams, and has a water resistance rating of up to 50 meters. So, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments.